I'm trying to, Mom. I am trying to. Well, thanks for calling out of the blue like this. Your father's going to be sad he missed you. He isn't home from the gym yet. Usually you call us in the morning. Mom? Yes? I feel everything. What do you mean, sweetie? The space. The air. The vibrations, the people, I can feel the gravity, I can feel the rotation of the earth, the heat leaving my body, the blood in my veins, I can feel my brain, the deepest parts of my memory. pain in my mouth when I had braces. I, I can remember the feeling of your hand on my forehead when I ran a fever. I remember stroking the cat. It was so soft. The cat? What cat, honey? A Siamese with blue eyes and a broken tail. Sweetie, you can't possibly remember that. You were barely a year old. I remember the taste of your milk in my mouth. The room. The liquid. Sweetie, what are you talking about? I just want to tell you that I love you, Mom and Dad. Sweetie. And I want to thank you for the thousand kisses that I can still feel on my face. Like us, life seems to have only one single purpose, gaining time. And it is going through time seems to be also the only real purpose of each of the cells in our bodies. To achieve that aim, the mass of the cells that make up earthworms and human beings has only two solutions, be immortal or to reproduce. If its habitat is not sufficiently favorable or nurturing, the cell will choose immortality. In other words, self-sufficiency and self-management. On the other hand, if the habitat is favorable, they will choose to reproduce. to every other cell. They exchange a thousand bits of information between them per second. Cells grouped together forming a giant web of communication, which in turn forms matter. Cells get together, take on one form, deform, reform. It makes no difference, it's all the same. Humans consider themselves unique, so they've rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure. are not the unit of measure. The 
world isn't governed by mathematical laws. What governs all that? Film a car speeding down a road. Speed up the image infinitely. And the car disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. I'll build a computer and download all my knowledge in it. I'll find a way for you to have access to it. 